Hello. Good evening, sir. Vampire protection surface? Indeed. I didn't know there was a problem around here with vampires. Oh, most people don't until it's too late, sir. Really? Why is that? Well, vampires are sneaky, sir. They have all sorts of tricks and subterfuges. But you can protect yourself. Well, what with, um, garlic around the door and crosses and things? That kind of thing. But your greatest protection is knowing that a vampire can't attack you unless you've invited it into your house. So I have to actually say to the vampire, come in. Yes, sir. What if I'm coming home from work late and the vampire sneaks up behind me on my drive before I get to the door? You're vulnerable. What if I'm in my garage? Safe. Garden shed? Safe. Under the gazebo? Safe. Under the pergola? Safe. Next to the barbecue plant? Vulnerable. What about my children? They've got a kiddie tights playhouse? Safe. On the trampoline? Do they have a net? No. Get warm. What if I'm standing outside on my lawn, mm -hmm. just drinking a glass of wine? Vulnerable. But I see the vampire coming, mm -hmm. so I put up an umbrella. How big is the umbrella? It's, it's kind of a standard golf umbrella. Is it large enough to accommodate yourself and a vampire, assuming you're left-handed? Um, I, I guess so. I mean, it depends how, how big a vampire is. What's the surface area of the canopy? I've, I've no idea. It's it's so big. You um you know, kind of there's a it's it's yellow and purple, and it keeps the rain out. And there's only a tear in one side. A tear. It, it, the water gets to it, but I don't even notice the tear. Wait, is it Egyptian cotton or polyester? Look, I I don't know. Does it matter? <sighs> Certainly. If I showed you the umbrella, mm -hmm. do you think you'd be able to give me any advice? Of course. Okay, look, you just wait here. I'll go and get it. Oh, come on in. 